this is Sibylla Mirage. Welcome back to my new channel. Today I will be unboxing three pairs of Golden Goose sneakers, sharing my thoughts on them and um, discussing sizing, which I feel like is very confusing. First, I ordered them from Farfetch because I had a 10% off coupon. I read the reviews on these shoes on different websites and I ordered size 9. I'm an 8.5 and, and the majority of people ordered half a size up but when i watched some youtube videos two of them said that you need to go down half a size so i was very confused i ordered them in size nine and um, i can't show them to you because they went back they were like perfect length i felt like they were perfect just to sit in but when i walked my heel slipped right out like it my foot did not stay inside at all and i tried to Tighten the laces, I did everything to save them. I even thought about purchasing the little Dr. Not sure, Dr. Shawls or whatever. Um, strip, like silicone strip that you can glue um, to the back of your heel on the inside and it like, um, I don't know, makes them smaller and makes your foot stay inside. They're really good for high heels and these shoes on the inside are suede at the back, well the ones I ordered, and uh, those strips, adhesive strips, are very strong and they actually are very good for suede. So I felt like if I really wanted to make it work, I would. And then I read the reviews saying that they wish they went up half a size instead of down because they were very uncomfortable at the beginning and needed a lot of breaking in. So I felt great that I ordered size 9 at the beginning, but then I realized that it's impossible for me to walk in them. So I decided to go across the street to my local Nordstrom and try them on in size 8 before I make another mistake. So I tried all of the pairs in size 8 and I realized that they are a little bit tight, but when I walk in them, my heel stays inside. And I got one pair from Nordstrom right away. I wanted to see how we get along before ordering more pairs. Yes, I know. I'm trying to downsize on my shoes, but at the same time, I'm tired of wearing like, I don't know, <sighs> basic shoes. Like Nikes, I mean, nothing's wrong with them. Or um, All Star Cads, I love those. Um, and they're really comfortable and they're really affordable but I just want to have something looking super ugly and be very expensive for every day that makes no sense. let me show you the pair that I I have a review on them so I wore them a few times they come in a box like this and it has um, a dust bag and some sort of authenticity card with like an app that you can download when scanning the QR code. They do not come stuffed on the inside. I feel like they just jam them in there because the ones that arrived from Farfetch, the very first pair that I ordered in glitter, I will insert the picture of the ones I ordered on the screen. Uh, they were just jammed in there, all wrinkly. I mean, I get it, they have to look old and runchy and smelly, but, um, but I wanted them to be packaged a little bit better. I got these because um, they're very neutral. They have navy part here and it's very dark, so it's like a fancy black in my opinion. They go well with absolutely everything. They are so cool. They go really well with black, which navy doesn't or shouldn't go well with black, but they do. And that's how they look. They do not have the logo here, which I find them to be very, like, understated. I wear them every day now because I'm trying to break them in. These are excruciating, but hey, I'll do anything to look good. Like, drive from LA to Vegas at 5 a.m. for a pair of earrings. Let me show you the other two pairs that I got from Farfetch. I have mixed feelings about Farfetch uh, because I ordered another pair. I ordered a third pair and um, in black and they were supposed to come from Brooklyn, Chucky's in Brooklyn, New York. And when I read the reviews, they said that um, they sell counterfeit items that um, pretty much 
they sell fakes. The reviews are just terrible. So I called Farfetch and I told them that, look, I don't know why you work with this store, but I don't want anything from them. Could you please ship it back to the sender? She didn't want to help me. She said it's impossible because the shoes were already like processed or something like that, but it's not true. I told her that, look, I need to talk to your manager. I was literally Karen because I did not, I do not like going through hassle of returning something. I knew already I was gonna return the shoes. Like I knew if they were fake, I was gonna make a video anyway and then send them back. But at the same time, it's just wasting time. Why would I? She put me on hold for like 20 minutes and then she came back with that you know, without the manager, and she said, yes, we can do that. I don't understand why she gave me such a hard time. Like, that's a standard procedure. Sometimes people change their mind, and it's not guaranteed that UPS will get the message. So they didn't arrive, they went back to Brooklyn. And I don't think Farfetch does their due diligence checking, really, if they are working with authentic stores because farfetch is just a website of like tons of trash well designer trash and then you choose your items and they ship them to you from anywhere in the world where they are readily available in your size maybe they cannot possibly check every single store um and read the reviews that people are complaining that they're selling fake things and they still participate with them so i don't trust farfetch after this let's see what we got Another very basic shoe. I liked that the logo is in blue and the star is yellow, so they are very summery looking because I live in LA and it's mainly warm weather here, so I wear them, obviously I'll wear them in winter, all winter long. And, um, but I still wanted like Cali vibe. Which makes no sense, I know. Let me quickly show you the next pair. I want to get them out. These are so pretty and they are suede. So I hope that these are less painful, you know, because I feel like suede is softer. I love purple. Purple is my favorite color. I really love these. I think they're really cute, especially because they're suede. It's like party in the back, bomb in the front. I don't know, I really like them. It is what it is. So, if my grandma saw these and knew how much they were, she would hire an exorcist. So my advice to you, if you want to break them in, have a glass of wine. You will not feel as much pain, although you may bleed on the inside. And we all know that what really counts is on the outside. Of course, I'm joking. I believe that how we are perceived is everything to do with our confidence and not the smelly shoes. And at the end of the day, if it doesn't fit, you're ugly anyway. No, it's ugly. It's ugly. Is it? Yes. It's pretty ugly, but because it made us care, because it made us feel a certain way, we want it. And now we want it in every single color. No? It's just me. Also, before I forget, your opinion is very much needed because I don't know if I should keep both pairs. I mean, this one, of course, I already wore it. I think I can return it and nobody would even know. The best part about these is that you never need to wash them. The carpet in my car is black and I always get black stain on every single shoe and I won't even be bothered. Like, these are a horse work. Working horse. They do not give me any blisters. The only issue I have right now is that they're like pressing onto my toes a little bit, but not to the point that I know I'm gonna get an ingrown toenail because I've had that happen before and I couldn't sleep and it was very painful and I had to have my manicure. Yeah, for me, it was excruciating pain. It's like the rest too. So, like, um, yeah, my toe was swollen and red and hard and it was just like very hard. So now, between these and these. Which ones would you keep? I love the logo on this one, it's blue and it's black on this one. So which one would you keep? Which one do you like more? And do you like these at all? I feel like they're very neutral. Oh my God, I just put them on my bed. 
there's a spider on my seat. Which ones out of these three do you like the most? I like this one because it's very neutral, but I also want like a summery pair without any dark, you know, uh, bit on it. So I don't know. What else? What else? I guess I just have to threaten my puppy for you to like this video and we will be done. So here is Johnny. Say hi, baby. He's so big now. Like this video if you want Johnny to be safe. <laughs> You don't think mommy hurt you? No, it's impossible. No. I will hurt him if you don't like this video.